This was one of the wildest, most memorable plays of the 2020 NFL season. Do you recognize it? How about now? It is picked off at the goal line. That's Buda Baker. Buda Baker out Look in front. Metcalf. Can Metcalf track him down? Can he chase him down? And he does to save a touchdown. What you're seeing is real-time tracking of the precise location of every player on the field using RFID chips embedded into every player's shoulder pads, as well as on officials, pylons, sticks, chains, and even in the ball, the tracking system captures player data such as location, speed, distance traveled, and acceleration at a rate of 10 times per second. Oh my God! Running entirely on Amazon Web Services, all this tracking data helps generate the NFL's next-gen stats and can tell us things like how far a cornerback is from a wide receiver when they catch a pass, or how fast a returner is when they take a kickoff back for a touchdown. They also help the NFL's 32 clubs analyze trends and track player performance. But what else can we learn from the more than 200 new data points that are created on every play of every game? That's where the big data bowl comes in. Our job is to try and figure out what is best for the league. And, and we thought that sharing player tracking data would be a good way to get data scientists on board with football data and also to figure out what are some of these untapped ideas that, that we don't know? Like, what are the questions we can answer that we've never been able to answer before in football? The Big Data Bowl is an opportunity for students and people who are not NFL insiders. They don't currently have NFL jobs. They get a chance to work with our data, look at it, examine it, find new ways and use cases for it, and really examine and explore what they could do. Here's how it works. Each year, interested applicants are provided with a large pool of tracking data and tasked with broadening the understanding of a particular football situation, from things like evaluating route concepts to predicting the outcome of rushing plays. Submissions are then judged by NFL team analytics staff before finalists are selected to present their findings at the annual NFL Scouting Combine. Our team analytics staffers do all the judging. So when we receive submissions for this year's event, I forward them along to our teams. They go through and they rank them on, on several different categories. And so ultimately, this is what our teams think are the best submissions for this year's Big Data Bowl in terms of like what's going to most help them win football games. There's a cash prize, which of course is nice, but the event can also serve as a pipeline to a career in the NFL. Just ask the first ever winner. My name is Nate Sturkin. I'm the lead data scientist for the Cleveland Browns. And in that role, it's my job to help the team use data to, to win football games. He's got it, and it's over. For the first time in 18 years, the Cleveland Browns are going to the playoffs. So in my year, one of the prompts was identifying the optimal receiver route combinations. And I remember seeing that prompt and thinking, gosh, I've always wanted to know the answer to this question. First, I had to identify the routes themselves. It's just the raw X, Y, you know, so it doesn't have the labels on there. So you just, first you have to generate those labels. And then the second part of the problem is, okay, how do I group those in the same kind of way that, you know, a coach would think about them? And then the third part of the submission was, okay, to find some metric for ranking the effectiveness. And I definitely didn't get all the way there. Like I didn't actually get to a, to a good causal analysis, but did enough hacking along the way to get there. And I, can, I kind of showed, okay, here's a roadmap that you could follow to you know, figuring out which you know, combinations are, are most effective. Nate's algorithm stood out for a couple of reasons. First, it was, it was beautifully presented in terms of it made sense to the football audience to take all of the different sort of patterns of the way wide receivers move on the field and then turn those into images. And then from those images, classify routes. And when Nate showed all the possible images that he categorized as like a post pattern, it all made sense to the audience because sure, those look like post patterns. And then the neat thing that Nate was able to do is he was able to tie it back into football terms. And it's nice to be able to blend that type of substantial statistic research with also football terms. And that makes sense to our coaches. A big part of this contest is just broadening people's you know, mindsets. Like, hey, what can you accomplish with this? And that's really one of the primary goals here is Let's just see what people can do with football data. Usually when you're trying to answer a question, you're probably the first person in the history of the world to ever answer that exact question with this exact data. You could help your offense make better decisions with play calling. You could help your offense figure out like what is the best lineman to draft in the sixth round. 
You can help your defensive coach figure out how to train your players to, to better react to, to certain types of passing schemes. It's been really cool to see people who aren't intimately aware of the ins and outs and nuances and the way we've always done things. They get a chance to take a fresh look at all of this information and kind of inspire all of us to relook at what things that we're used to normally seeing every single day. It's going to help our teams. It's going to give them good ideas, both for how they can use football data. And I think our teams are, are, are recognizing that and, and the more resources they're able to devote, the more questions they're going to eventually be able to answer.